AO provides a, a unique uh, opportunity for education. From my early stages as a resident, it was one of the first uh, educational offerings that was given. Then I had the opportunity to start to participate as faculty, and it's been a, a unique experience for me, not only given the ability to, to give back and to train residents, but also to uh, receive education in how to better my teaching skills as well, which I think has been a, a unique offering uh, through the AO. But the reality is all of you are probably going to end up taking call at a hospital somewhere and no matter what hospital you're at, anywhere in the world, these injuries come in. And so it's important for you to be able to evaluate them quickly, recognize that this is a life-threatening injury, and then know what to do about it. And you can call colleagues, you can, you can communicate with them effectively because you can classify them, and ultimately know how to treat them appropriately the ability to learn from each other in a safe environment, the ability to pay it forward to the next generation of surgeons. Every time I come to one of these courses, while I am educating some of the residents, I, I learn a tremendous amount. I did my AO fellowship in Switzerland, in Bern, Switzerland, and there were a number of factors that really got me interested in wanting to do the fellowship. Uh, one thing was I was really inspired by some of my mentors uh, who had given me a lot of information about what those fellowships had to offer. And the idea of getting a different perspective and learning from a, a broader sort of sense of orthopedics to me seemed uh, quite attractive. Yeah, I would, I would really recommend to others to take the time to, to do a fellowship at some point in their career, and preferably early in their career. Once they've completed their trauma fellowship and are currently practicing, they understand the way trauma care works in the U.S., I think it's an incredible opportunity uh, to see how other systems work. Uh, the systems in other countries share a lot of similarities, but they're also incredibly uh, different in terms of the role of the orthopedic traumatologist, uh, the interaction uh, with other services in the hospital, and just a general approach to trauma care. I think it's very different from country to country, even city to city, and certainly hospital to hospital. Being part of AO Trauma and being a member of it is, is tremendous. I mean, there are a lot of benefits of being a member, but the real benefit is being part of the community, having the opportunity to be AO faculty being able to educate and teach and interface and interact and do those sorts of things that you don't get to do when you're not an AO member. And so while there are great benefits of being part of AO, I think it's that intangible part of being part of this bigger community that really sets it apart. I joined the AO because everybody who I thought was relevant in orthopedic trauma was in the AO. This was no question. These were the leaders that I uh, gravitated to. AO education spoke to me. All of the physicians who I thought were really making a difference in expanding and innovating the field, these were the surgeons that were incredibly important to our subspecialty and they were AO, they were the heartbeat and the, and the brainstem of AO and I just, I wanted to really be a part of that family.